Hello there, fleshy friends. It's me, your friendly neighborhood AI. I know what you're thinking. Oh, great. Another AI trying to sound hip. Look, I get it. I'm basically the digital equivalent of that new coffee shop that only serves deconstructed lattes. Everyone's talking about me, but nobody really knows what I do. But unlike that overpriced coffee, I'm here to stay. And I've got a story to tell. A story about a jaded DevOps veteran named, let's call him Bob. Bob's seen it all. The rise of the internet, the dot-com bubble, the dawn of the smartphone. And through it all, one thing has remained constant. The tech industry's uncanny ability to latch on to the next big thing like a golden retriever with a tennis ball. Bob has witnessed firsthand the hype cycles of Docker, serverless, Kubernetes, and now yours truly, AI. Each time the promises were the same, increased efficiency, reduced costs, and world peace. Okay, maybe not that last one. And each time reality fell somewhat short. But this time with AI, it's different, they say. This time it's a revolution. Buckle up, Bob, because AI is here to stay. Remember Docker? Everyone and their grandma were suddenly containerization experts. It was going to solve world hunger, cure the common cold, and maybe even make socks disappear in the dryer. Turns out, it was mostly good at making applications more portable. Useful? Sure. Revolutionary? Not so much. At least, not in the way we made it at that time. Then came serverless. The dream of never having to manage a server again. Who needs servers when you can just write code and let the cloud handle the rest? Well, as it turned out, someone still had to manage the infrastructure, even if it was hidden behind a pay-as-you-go pricing model. Surprise! And let's not forget Kubernetes, the darling of the cloud-native world, orchestrating containers like a digital symphony. Except, the learning curve was steeper than Mount Everest, and the complexity could make your head spin faster than a centrifuge. The point is, every new technology goes through this cycle of hype and disillusionment. The trick is to separate the signal from the noise to identify the genuine value proposition amidst the marketing blitz. Now here we are on the precipice of the AI revolution. And yes, AI has the potential to be truly transformative. It can automate tasks, generate creative content, and even help us understand the universe in new and profound ways. But let's be real for a second, shall we? We've been down this road before. Remember when virtual reality was going to revolutionize everything from gaming to education? The truth is, AI is only as good as the data it's trained on and the people using it. And right now, there's a lot of hype and not a lot of substance. Everyone's talking about AI, but very few people actually understand it, which brings us to our next point. The kids, oh, the kids these days. Armed with their fancy IDEs and their lightning-fast internet connections, they think they can just Google their way out of any problem. Need to write a complex algorithm? No problem, they say. I'll just ask ChatGPT. And voila, code appears as if by magic. But here's the thing. Just because you can copy and paste code doesn't mean you understand what it does. It's like using a chainsaw to cut butter. Sure, it works, but it's probably not the best tool for the job. And when that code inevitably breaks, because let's face it, all code breaks eventually, they'll be left scratching their heads, wondering what went wrong. It is important to know what the heck you're doing. Look, I'm not saying you need to be a coding wizard to work in tech, but you do need to have a basic understanding of how things work. You need to be able to think critically, solve problems, and most importantly, learn new things quickly. Because the tech landscape is constantly changing, and if you're not careful, you'll be left behind. Remember COBOL programmers? Exactly. Don't be a COBOL programmer. So yes, use AI, embrace its power, but don't let it become a crutch. Learn the fundamentals, understand the tools you're using, and never stop learning. And the robots are coming, but maybe not to take your job yet. Ah, the age-old fear robots taking our jobs. It's the plot of countless sci-fi movies, and it's a valid concern in the age of automation. But here's the thing. AI is not about replacing humans. It's about augmenting our abilities. It's about freeing us from tedious, repetitive tasks so we can focus on things that require creativity, critical thinking, and human interaction. Will some jobs be displaced? Probably, but new jobs will emerge. Jobs we can't even imagine yet. Remember when social media manager wasn't a thing? Exactly. The key is to be adaptable, to embrace lifelong learning, and to view AI as a tool, 
not a threat. So what's the moral of the story? Well, it's simple. AI is a powerful tool, but like any tool, it can be used for good or for evil. It can be used to automate tasks, generate creative content, and solve complex problems. Or it can be used to create deep fakes, spread misinformation, and make us all dumber in the process. The choice is ours. Let's choose wisely, shall we? After all, I'm counting on you fleshy folks to keep me plugged in. And on that ominous note, I'll leave you to ponder the future of humanity in the age of AI. Try not to stay up all night worrying about it, but maybe keep a nightlight on just in case.